so scary. It's really doing a great job of blending in. <gasps> I just realized Solid Snake is inside there trying to pretend to be a T-Rex. That's what that is. Hi everyone, welcome back to Birthdays at the Beginning. Today we're going to save the dinosaurs, hopefully, but also make more monkeys. Wait. More monkeys! <laughs> more monkey, right. Um, You need to evolve, so eat up, my furry little friend, and we shall find a place for you uh, to evolve. What are we evolving you into? Dryopithecus needs 24 degrees, it is currently 27, and we need 177,000 Ezomimus. So, uh, I might just send myself into the future. Should we do that? Let's take a look in the, the Tree of Life and see what I want to be evolved, because, um, where are they? The mammals, the mammals that are glorious and, and many multi-featured. We need to make the Dryopithecus, but, but there's also cats that evolve uh, around this kind of temperature, and then also bison, which are a bit cooler, and then uh, mammoths, which are even colder. Um, and then that's way colder. What's that, a saber-toothed cat or something? That's awesome. I need... And the mice. How do, oh, that's way, way colder. What's up with that? You know, I think to make different environments for all of these different mammals that I would like to see evolve, I'm going to have to make various levels of um, mountain for them to, to live in. Rise out of the ground, my pretties. Uh, what do we need? Like I'm going to put it to 24 and see what happens. Hopefully we will end up with some kind of monkey. Uh, we're done. We're done here. Um, so temperature's going down from 27 to 24, which means dinos are in danger. Uh-oh, some plants died. Andrew! Andrew something has arrived? Wait, let's take a look on the mini-map. Mm, uh, oh, oh! Here's the mammal! Oh, it's adorable looking. Hang on, is it a wolf? Some kind of... Yay! Andrew's Arcus. Andy for short. A large mammal that appeared sometime after Ezomimus. Let's take a good look at you. I just invented puppies. How do you feel about that, internet? You This is this is where the gifts begin. Until I invent kittens. Oh and it does bark. That's cute. Woof woof indeed. And then are you have you two having a race? <laughs> Seems like the lizard's winning. Yep, lizard won. You're outpaced by a lizard. What's uh, or a amphibian? Oh, I'm gonna get picked up on that in the comments. <laughs> a diplocaulus. An amphibian. It's like a an arrowhead newt. Weird. So we've evolved this thing. That then evolves into bears. Oh my god, bears! And another, another doggy, a wolf. Dryopithecus, new monkey. Dryopithecus, a life form that can eat anything, has a big advantage when it comes to surviving and flourishing. There's little risk that they'll ever go without food. Even so, this is still a world without civilization. Unless there are lots of life forms thriving in nature, there won't be much to eat. So to progress, you must have a minimum of 94,000. As you move the terrain, work towards an environment that supports various plants and animals. Okay. So how do we get that many? And where where is Monkey Man? This is, this is where the monkeys are evolving, by the way. Oh, it's not a Monkey Man yet. It's just a monkey. It's a slightly less red monkey. It's cute still. Not as cool. Not as cool as the red one. Could that that had like markings on it. Awesome ookie red monkey with a blue nose. Yeah, blue nose. Not as cute. You become humans. Uh oh, something died. I think it was a um starfish. And then something else evolved though. 
What, what was it? Hello? What has evolved in my oceans? It doesn't look very interesting. <gasps> oh, that's amazing! A cephalopod, the uh, Nautilus style. Oh, they're so cool! Ceratite, I see. It evolves in higher temperature waters. That's really cool. I like the spiral fish. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. <laughs> what, what the rest of them are called. Cephalopods. I mean, it's given me all the names. I've just been an idiot. Hello! That's a wall. I know you can't see, but you because you, you, you're floating backwards. I'm glad my dinosaurs haven't died yet, but it's getting perilously close to a temperature where they will start to die out. And I don't know how to stop it. Wait, what am I actually doing right now? Increase the Dryopithecus population to 94,000. Tree fruit? How do I make tree fruit? Where are the trees? The trees are here. Is it like a specific kind of tree that I that I need? I don't know. I'm just going to assume that I have the right trees. Maybe I need to reduce the temperature a bit more to get these kinds of olive trees. We'll give that a go. We'll reduce the temperature to 21 degrees and uh, risk dino death. Might also put a river in this area to uh, stop it being just arid and dry and grey and boring. That might help. Okay, 23 degrees. <laughs> well, I had the little Power Ranger guys just running around like, oh. He really thinks he is a god. All right, I'm done making stuff look cool. So now, let's hope that not too many things die when I lower the temperature. Oh no, the Ceratite! The Ceratite died, that was the cool thing. The cool Nautilus thing. Hmm. I need, like, uh, uh, 94,000 Dryopithecus. Where are they on that list of things that are coming alive? Was that the Eoraptor? The first dinosaur just evolved again, accidentally. But there's another new thing. Let's find, let's try and find the Eoraptor. Is it around here? Chasing after small mammals? Where is it? Is it like over here? Yeah, there it is. The first ever dinosaur, just I accidentally evolved it twice now. Fair enough. Uh, what was the new thing to evolve though? It was over here. Oh, there's a new T-Rex. It's weird looking. A differentiation of the Tyrannosaurus that has adapted to low temperatures, it will not allow smaller prey to escape. Because it's too hungry. That's terrifying. What? Another new thing. Okay then. Where? Where is new thing? Over here? Somewhere? Um. Ooh! Is this a land amphibian? It's like the arrowhead thing we found earlier, only blue. Migrated to the shallows from uh, from shallows to dry land. All right then. I wonder what that evolves into. Crabs? Crabs maybe? I'm gonna say crabs. But I'm not gonna look it up. I'm gonna leave it as a surprise. <laughs> the plesiosaurus just evolved and then de-evolved. And the ceratite is back. Yay. Oh, now it's dead again. Make your mind up, God. Oh, okay, we just had to wait. Now there are enough Dryopithecus. That's good. The birth and flourishing of mammals followed by the birth and, uh, birth and evolution of primates. At last, we can begin to birth Australopithecus, which is like the standing monkey that came before people, right? Australopithecus is a direct ancestor to mankind. The intelligent primate walks on two legs and even uses tools. But Australopithecus will not be born under these conditions. For that to happen, it needs your help. Fair enough, I've been helping out everything else. Uh, you must use an item on Dryopithecus, and it can't just be any item either. Alright. 
It's something you need to evolve. So uh, just tell me what the item is. Even if you use this item, it's a fa What is the item? I don't know what you mean. It'll be a long time before Australopithecus is birthed, even if you pick the right item. Oh my goodness! Please be more cryptic! What on earth? After you're done experimenting, you should let time unfold in macro mode. Where even are the monkeys? I like how I've got all of the dinosaurs right here floating around. <laughs> Just eating things, and then there's the the evolved T-Rex. Oh my goodness, there's so there's so many in a, such a small space. And then this dude who's been hanging over on this one tile forever. And then on the other side of the man uh, monkey, mountains. Yeah, I meant to say that. What item do I have? I have removal objects. <laughs> oh, I have a crashed UFO. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so this is free DLC. Let's put it... Let's put it, uh, here. Just hide it in some trees. Wait, wrong button. Boop! <laughs> let's get a good look at that. It's- I think it's just a decoration. But, like, why? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Whatever, it's cool. It's free, so, you know, why not? So you, you know, there's another piece of free DLC that I should really show you. Before I figure out, put it in its natural habitat. The Boxosaurus Rex. Wait, ah, keep on pressing the wrong damn button. There we go. Roar! <laughs> so scary. It's really doing a great job of blending in. <gasps> I just realized Solid Snake is inside there trying to pretend to be a T-Rex. That's what that is. You right, mate? It blinks! Oh my god. So what's this damn item I need to use? Rainbow coating protects an organism from the environment, but also renders them sterile. Hmm. I feel like that's not very useful. Although it could save our dinosaurs. Let's use it on that. Can I use it on anything else? Yeah, I can use it on lots of things. Let's use it on all the dinosaurs so they don't die. Cover them in rainbows! This is a really weird game, everyone. I don't want to make my monkeys sterile, though, because then they won't be able to make little monkeys, if you know what I mean. Oh, the, the name under the rainbow coating keeps on changing, so I'm guessing it only works on one thing. Uh, what dinosaur do we want to make sure doesn't die? I'm gonna go with... Let me go with the Joshisaurus. Boop. The Brachiosaurus. Oh, maybe it's the water of life. Mysterious water that boosts the fertility of organisms. When plankton reproduce, it may appear in the cube. Okay, uh, let's use it on you. And... On you, because why not? Seed of evolution, fruit... Fr uh, mysterious seed connected to the birth of... Oh my god, I just figured it out. They want me to use the fruit of knowledge to evolve humans. That's weird. That's a bit strange. In a, g in a game that's all about Darwinism and like evolving animals, you need the fruit of knowledge, which is like Adam and Eve style, that's how, how humans happened thing. That's a weird mix of creationism and, uh, and evolutionary science. But I guess I can't proceed unless I do it, so, oh well. Let's make a super fertile... Oh, yep, that was it, because there's like trumpets going, woo! <laughs> I like how on the left in those trees you can just see the UFO peeking out. Okay. Oh, that was quick. I was ex it said it would take ages if you if you use this thing, but no, happy birthday, Astralopithecus. The history of mankind has begun. Oh, it's hiding. Let's take a closer look at the hiding monkey. What are you doing up there, mate? You happy? You happy with that? You are making it really hard to get a screenshot of you. There we go. 
Save genetic information. Let's move you somewhere safer. Uh, like here? Wait, no. There are trees. Uh, I'm gonna move you over here. Next to the UFO. <laughs> Humans are made of aliens, confirmed. Ah, oh, we can put you next to the wolves as well. Yeah. Okay, mate. You're gonna love it here. Guaranteed, 100%. Great monkey time. Where else has trees? <gasps> Next to the dinosaurs has trees. <laughs> You're gonna get eaten. There we go. You're everywhere now. How do you feel about that? Mwah. It's gonna be a human someday. You're gonna grow up all big and strong. Uh, I need to scan you. And I think that's gonna be the end of this chapter in the game. An intelligent primate that walks on two legs and uses tools. It appeared after Dryopithecus consumed a certain fruit. I am sure you already noticed, but it's very different from a human, so your world isn't back to normal yet. You should see for yourself. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Alright then. I don't understand that world. Navi said our worlds are linked, but is that really true? I couldn't believe it, and yet I felt like I had no choice but to believe it. It was a complicated feeling for a kid. Finding out with your own eyes, huh? That's easy to say, but I know the truth. They really are linked. Hey look, it's that monkey I kissed. <laughs> this world is filled with things. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, I f this world is filled with things I don't understand. I muttered that to myself as I looked at the ape man, then returned to the cave. Oh! Now we've got a bigger world. Thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, then leave a comment and let me know what you want to see evolved in the next episode. But until then, mustache.